as we take to the phone lines and say good morning to Dr. Vijak Ayasananda from Maui Health. Good morning, doctor. Good morning, Shane. How are you? I'm good, my friend. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and your family and our friends up there at Maui Health. Merry Christmas to you and everyone listening to us as well. All right. How many people do we currently have hospitalized with COVID-19? Do you know? Uh, as of this morning, I guess only two. So that's good. Oh, cool. Those are those who are uh, infectious still, who are still being treated and have positive COVID-19 tests. I'll tell you that neither of them are on a ventilator, too. Uh, which is good. And for December, our average number has been around two or three people. Mm. And we only need one unit, uh, one warm unit that's activated right now for COVID positive isolation. But we're ready to turn it back up. We had, what, two or three a few months ago. Dr. Vijak, um, I know the concern uh, that has been of late from the county office, a mayor's office, of the bar situation and the possibility of closing down bars for 14 days. Have we seen any uptick or contact tracing from uh, these establishments to the total number at the uh, hospital? You know, I'm having to follow that as well with mm. DOH and the mayor's office because, of course, at the hospital, we might get some anecdotal cases. A couple people are coming in who think they might have gotten exposed, but uh, we don't do the tracking mm. of the community. Um, I believe what the mayor is doing his uh, Friday afternoon conferences, and then you know uh, I believe Facebook.com has what County of Maui mm -hmm. that I listen to from time to time, looking for those specific restaurants and probably affecting school closures and all the other business clusters myself. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, I wish I had more information for everyone else because I'm I'm looking for that information myself yeah 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 me too um actually it affects me directly <laughs> anyway <laughs> because pfizer's vaccine is temperature sensitive uh will hawaii be able to receive any doses of that vaccine you know i'm happy to tell you yes oh. that's the fast and easy answer awesome um a lot of the hospitals i was hearing last night that tripler is helping out oahu and uh, we've done a little bit of searching ourselves here on Maui and found that we will be able to receive uh, and store the, I believe it's the Pfizer vaccine that we're going to get. And uh, you probably have heard and everyone else, it's like minus 80 degrees. We so can't mm. be using our usual freezers. Um, I believe there's a task force that we have in place, a COVID-19 task force, yeah. nurses, doctors, infectious disease guys. And we've had to get uh, representatives with engineering and communications, human resources, um, and at this time, uh, we have to say that uh, UH Maui College does have a freezer that can go that low, and they are loaning it to us to use. Nice. So with a little bit of maneuvering, engineering, and planning, we will be able to get the vaccine. Um, you know, as long as you're talking about that, I just wanted to mention two different things. One, we are doing tabletop exercises, looking for any kind of uh, problems within the um, access or in the in the process line from how we get the vaccine to us and how we get it from the storage unit to people's arms, for example. Oh. Um, so the tabletop exercise is going to happen today. Uh, addition to that, um, I heard it's not being well. I, I noticed it's not being stressed enough. But even when the vaccine starts rolling out, everyone has been saying that this is a magic cure, that everything is fixed, everything is going back to normal. And I, I hate to break it to everybody, but you got to be careful. It's going to take a very long yeah. time to get people vaccinated. Um, I know a lot of people are very hesitant about getting the vaccine. So um, make sure you get your good sources. Yeah. I mean, sure. a lot of the CDC websites would probably be a little bit more accurate information than some of the other Facebook posts that I've uh, heard and read about. One thing, too, we can't stop our, our current practices. We still got to mm -hmm. do the physical distancing. We still got to do the hand washing. We still got to limit the group gatherings and uh, restricting travel. So it's not as though uh, we're going to get an early Christmas present, I'm afraid. And yes, I will still be wearing a mask, even if I get vaccinated, because you don't know. It's not 100 percent. Nothing is 100 percent. So I will still be wearing a mask along with everyone else in the hospital, despite getting the vaccine. Yeah, true. Hey, how can residents find out? I guess this this uh, questions uh, this question is related to what I tried to ask earlier. How can residents find out if they've been potentially exposed to someone with COVID nineteen? Is that even possible? Well, you know, I believe well the the, the official answer is that the DOH is responsible okay. for the contact tracing. Once a positive case goes to DOH, I believe they kind of reach out and depending on the cooperation and how well they can get a hold of the people. 
Um, they kind of reach out for all contacts within, what, about two weeks, 10 to 14 days, based off of, like, how long you were in contact and indoors and outdoors and who's wearing a mask and where. I believe they, they try to contact uh, those folks. Uh, now, our community is, i, I got to say, pretty darn good. Mm-hmm. Compared to some of the stories I've heard on the mainland, I know of people who have reached out themselves and just called up people who, who they think they've yeah. been talking to or in contact with or in a car with, and uh, they've been very reliable in getting a hold of people, and those people are calling us and coming in to try to get checked out if they have any symptoms. Um, I know this is different inside the hospital. We have our own contact tracing team. Right. So if there was any potential exposure, we usually reach out, uh, call, letters, whatever we can to get a hold of it. Now, I, I have heard that what uh, Hana and Lanai have been using this kind of app that kind of pings your phone along with whoever else who might be positive. Um, it's very promising. I know people are very reluctant or a little hesitant to have their phone be a, a beacon and you know tell other phones what's going on. But that would probably be the one way, I didn't say the only way, but the one way we could get everyone like knowledgeable, like, hey, you were in a bar, restaurant, you know, out at wherever. And, you know, I was around somebody who was positive for a prolonged amount of time. But it does depend on how many people are willing to sign up for that app. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's that called? The Aloha? What is something? Oh, I got to look it up, too. Yeah. Yeah, I was just uh, looking I know at that the yesterday. mayor's uh, <clears throat> briefing. Right. Like Aloha something app, too. Yes, I'm Sorry, yes. I don't have it in front of me. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> Shame on us this morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, thank you for that uh, answer, um, uh, Dr. Uh, v. Can you provide, I know you probably can't, and this is probably a Department of Health question, uh, but can you provide any information on the specific restaurants, schools, or other businesses that are having clusters that you know about? Not, unfortunately, not specifically. Like I said before, uh, my information is probably coming from the same sources as you are at mm-hmm, this point, mm-hmm. and, and I can't rely on social media for yeah, everything, but nope. I, I have heard and seen some of my favorite restaurants have to close down mm-hmm. and then reopen because of uh, an abundance of caution. So I know it's brewing. I know it's brewing in in a lot of bars and restaurants in uh, Lahaina side as well as in Kihei side. And uh, I know some folks like to go from one to the next to the next, and that's where everyone's been saying it's spreading. Um, You know, i got to say, uh, this whole debate between uh, visitor, travel spread, community Mm -hmm. spread, I'll say it's a spread. I mean, it it obviously didn't just start from us here on Maui from nowhere. Mm -hmm. It had to come in from somewhere, whether it be a a returning family member, for example, or a friends or family visiting us and staying in our homes, and then us going outside and about our day at work and us spreading it. But it's a shared responsibility. True. I mean, it's it's the one thing that we all got to get uh, a good understanding with, that we can't just put the blame on one side or the other. It's it's everyone's shared responsibility. And I really did like the, the, the message from what uh, Kawakami on Kauai. It's like, uh, it doesn't matter if you're a visitor, if you're a returning resident or anything. Once you're here and you're on our island, we got one hospital and uh, you're Ohana. We're we're taking care of everybody. We're not going to say no, you versus you versus you, whether or not you live here versus travel here. And so we have to all be very careful to try to contain it ourselves just because of all the limitations that we all know about one hospital, limited resources, limited staffing, you know. And I think we've done a pretty good job overall. We just got to keep it up because, including myself, I mean, we catch ourselves going, oh, got to keep that mask on. Oh, got to keep washing our hands. Pandemic fatigue is a real thing, and we've been doing it for way too long already, man. True that, man. True that. I agree. But, you know, Dr. V, with your uh, cooperation, you and uh, all of you guys there at Maui Health, we do our part here at Pacific Media Group. Um, Yeah. We continue. I mean, not, not that we enjoy that this isn't the normal, but we'll continue to uh, provide what we need to for our community. So thank you, Dr. V, this morning. Uh, any last words, my friend? Merry Christmas. Stay safe for you, your family, everyone on the radio. And one last time, wear your mask. Yep. Wash your hands. I've seen a lot less colds and flus this year, so something else is working in our benefit, too. <laughs> but everyone, you know, stay safe and please have a happy, safe, and responsible holiday season. All right, Dr. V, we will talk again. Thanks for your call and mele kalikimaka, my friend. Mele kalikimaka, Shane.